Hey y'all, welcome back to another video. If this is your first time, it is Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to all the beautiful mothers out there. The world will not go around without us. Period. We don't want to hear no ifs, ands, no buts, no maybes. We don't want to hear none of that. The world would not go around if it was not for the mothers, okay? I'm doing a full get ready with me from my hair to my makeup to everything. Your girl cut all her nails off. This is how I love my nails. Just soft and pretty. The lady did my nails so good. I think I found me a new nail tech. Mm -hmm. I'm about to do my hair. Um, It's pretty early. It's like 9 o'clock in the morning. That's when I need to do that. I don't know what I'm doing today. But I can honestly say that I am blessed. Highly favored. God has picked those two little boys of mine for me that is my pride my joy my love my peace everything and to all the beautiful mothers happy mother's day and to my beautiful lovely mom i know she's watching this video thank you so much for supporting me loving me dealing with my chaotic life thank you so much from the bottom of my heart no gifts no money no amount of expression can express the way i am so very thankful for you so Shout out to you, girl. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day. I don't think I am going to show how I do my hair. Well, maybe I am because I literally show this. I show this in a couple of videos, which is really, really good. I, I looked out for y'all. Okay? This is the bleaching powder that I use. BW2 screenshot. It varies from, this is the volume. Sometimes I use 10. Sometimes I use 20. I have my little bowl that I use. I'm blind, brilliance, bonding, treatment oil. This is amazing for colored hair. Any hair that you color, this is amazing. You can get all these products from Sally's. I will list them down below. I really wanted my hair to grow just a little bit more before, but I couldn't find me a hat. I'm going to keep my edges, edges very, very less. Whoever said short hair is easy to maintain is a lie. This is a lie, especially when you like me and your shit just keep falling out. But I'm going to let this sit in. I'm going to just clean up around the house. If it starts burning, I'll wash it out quicker. But hair is washed. I'm about to part it. It's grown back a little bit, but not much as I like for it to be thick, but we're not going to worry about that today, okay? I think I did it, did this on my channel a million times. Taking me some clear ice gel, it's style. And I kind of like to just put this in my hair to let it lay down especially my edges okay guys I'm thinking I'm recording and I'm not so then I like to take a comb and literally just do this now I don't like too many waves if it makes sense I just like enough I don't need nothing that's just too, you know what I'm saying? Like, out there and mm -mm. just give me something real cute, real quick, real 
subtle. I'm gonna put me a bandana on my head, preferably I like bandanas, rags, anything that's just gonna lay my hair down. I just like for my hair to be flat. My hair doesn't get really, 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 really thick. And when it does, this kind of just makes it lay down. And I preferably always have on a black one or a um a dark tone just because it's just better pay off for the camera. It just makes my quality look a little bit top tier. Cotton, cotton, um, what is this? Cotton oval. Revolution Galacolic Acid Tonic. That's how it looks. And I'm gonna put that on the cotton swab. And just make sure my skin is this all the way clean. Cause sometimes you will cleanse the hell out your face and then your face still be dirty. Like still dirty. Some peach and lily uh, wild dew essence. And I like to put some on my hand. Put it in. A little bit of my Anastasia brow gel. Full raggedy beat up elf sponge. Brows off fleet, okay. Hyaluronic acid. Y'all, I have my baby in my lap, like trying to put him to sleep. <laughs> Eye cream. Nivea cream. You guys know I love me some. Okay, so I zoomed you guys in. For primer, I'm going to use my Dynamic Duo. These two right here, a little Fenty Soft Matte with my Charlotte Setting. What is this? Setting Spray. These two together is unmatched, okay? I'm going to take the Charlotte Spray. He is letting that sit letting that sit in your skin it's gonna give your makeup longevity it's just just try it okay so that has been sitting on my face for a little bit so since i'm gonna be outside and kind of like drinking and casually just chilling hey girl i have nothing to say i want to put on my stay in place i got it backwards my stay in place estee lauder this foundation is so good it it really stays in place and I have 6W2 Nutmeg and I have 7N1 um, Deep Amber. I don't know why I thought I had Saddle. So I'm going to put a little bit of 6W2 on the back of my hand and add just a tad bit of 7N1 and just give me a little concoction. Both of them are really good shades. Really beautiful shades. But one is just a little bit, a little bit too light for me right now. And one of them is just too dark. Like, that's like my summer, summer, summer shade. And we not there yet. We getting there. I might put too much on. Um, See, 
as you can see it's a little bit I gotta put a little bit more okay. this is my Morphe M439 brush love this brush the foundation oh look at this this is so this how i know it's about to be a good mother's day like look at look at the foundation ever do my contour first and i really just want to try it so taking my chestnut as always in a morphe m449 i'm basically just working in sections that makes sense Then I'm going to take a little bit of truffle. You know, I like to do truffle just to give me a little bit more definition. Okay, I'm taking the butt of my beauty blender and just making sure this is blended. Maple by Too Faced. And I'm going to use a very little bit of this because, you know, I like to go in with a lot of concealers. tape and deep honey and going here I just like to do this just to kind of create a nice transition from the lights to the darks a brush but today I just don't have time for that I'm kind of like sort of in a rush but not too much press for time but I'm pressed for time if you know you know taking my beauty blender building this out I really like the black one. The black one is considered a pro beauty blender. Pro, am I that good? I don't know. Taking my foundation brush and I'm going to keep my eyes very light. This, this, this is my favorite part of makeup, is this. It's 
see the key when you get like real close underneath your eyes see I squeeze mine like I squeeze it really, really tight Foundation, I mean, concealer, blend it out. Oh my god, it looks so freaking good. Taking my lovely Kevin Aquan, it's like a nice olive y olive -y tone. Taking my beauty blender and blend it. So pretty, so freaking gorgeous. Like, I just picked up a blush by Fenty Beauty in Rose Lacte. Like yeah. Girl, I went to Sephora yesterday, y'all, and I went to get some rare beauty blush, specifically the shade Joy. And the girls have ate it up, honey. <laughs> y'all ain't, y'all didn't leave no crumbs, okay? Y'all, baby, y'all took all that shit off the shelves. Like, I was like, God damn. God damn. Y'all ain't leave, y'all ain't leave a chance for sis to try nothing. Using my Chanel setting powder in the shade 30. This is a really good setting powder. Like, at first I was like, mm, I don't know this, but it looks so freaking good. Like, it looks so good. And I'm taking it and just giving extra. May give you a lot. A little goes a long way. I'm just setting underneath my eyes. But you know, what I thought about. I was like, oh my. God, this will look so good underneath Huda. Like, like, oh my God, look, look how pretty. And it's just so thin, like, it's thin and it's just, like, look at that. I don't know if y'all can see me. My monitor is showing really dark. I hope it's not showing dark on camera. But just look at that, like, oh, good. Talk about a good makeup day, honey. I have to post this on Instagram. I have to. Go underneath my cheeks. I mean, oh my God, it's just, I don't know how to describe it. Juvia's Place Bronzer. And what is this? Dark. And they have one more shade after this. Just. So I cannot help but to try this Huda Beauty Blondie Powder on top of that Chanel. So I'm just going to take just a tad bit, girl. I'm not going to do it. I should have just left it like that because this is so pretty. That's my problem. I always want to just overdo shit. Oh, 
my god, that is so pretty. Y'all, so, I don't like, if you, you are OG, I don't like bringing my makeup out. I don't, girl, look, I barely like putting lip gloss on in public. Alright. So, I like to have my shit on lock. Y'all, that Chanel powder is so good. I wonder if they have one for my skin tone. Mm. Morphe setting powder, setting spray. And I'm going to do my brows and my lashes. If I come back with some eyeshadow on, girl, my yo business. Okay? So, yeah, I'm going to do that and then I'm going to come back. That's the only thing that I do off camera, y'all, is my lashes and my eyebrows. So, if I come back... Looking like a whole different person. That is why I don't do nothing else. Everything I do is on camera. Okay. So, all right. I'll see you soon. Okay, guys. I did my brows and put my lashes on. The ordinary. I'm looking the same as always. Okay, so now. I was eating some candy. It was really, really good. The E2 brush. Big fluffy brush with my Laura Mercier Medium Deep Setting Powder. And I'm going to. Dust this off. And I like to press mine into my skin. Okay, taking my Charlotte Tilbury powder in number two. This, y'all, if y'all don't get this, where's my brush? Under eye shade, this is so good. Make sure under eyes just last all day. Taking this and just going right on top I really really that um, Chanel powder oh that's top tier honey at first I was like girl I'm just getting it just because it says Chanel but mm -mm. she's a girl seriously powder is so bomb like so bomb and you remember I had this powder puff this puff and I, you remember I was like, I don't know if I like it just yet for underneath my eyes. I'm going to have to try this for all over my face. Because I like to use this powder to like buff it into the skin. I don't know. I feel like it's just too, it's too, um, like, like my Laura sponge is like really really soft. I switched to my Laura. That one is kind of too too like hard for me. I don't know if it needs to be worked in or what. Face blush Roji in volume one. Taking the bottom shade. You know I have not found my Bella. What is Bella? Let me make sure my color is blended. Okay, now it's time for my lips. First, I am going to use cork. I cannot find cork to save my life, and I finally found it. Start with cork because sometimes my lips be like. Too, 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 or a lot of it too dark. So this is kind of like a base. And it's like glasses right here on the top. Last night. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of let's see if I wanna if I want to wear this first. This is like oh it's really really cute. You know what? We just gonna see. This is Milk the Cocoa by NYX Cosmetics. It's really like 
It's really cute, but I'm gonna take a little bit of fortune cookie. And then I'm gonna top it off with Fussy Heat by Rihanna by Pinty Beauty. Makeup look really, really cute and pretty. Oh, love it. Let's get a thumbnail. Let's get a thumbnail. Finish. Let's move on to the outfit. Okay, you guys, so this is the finished look. I have one blue. Okay, the thing is, this is my outfit. You probably can't see it. I'm going to give you a full view. But I wanted like an oversized blazer look. And bitch, this is too oversized. This is 2X. And I wear a medium. So you do you kind of do the math. I, I I don't know how I'm feeling about this. I just don't know. Let me show y'all. I mean some of the rings on. Let me see if we can get a whole full view for y'all. And this is the outfit. Let me back y'all up. Hold up. Um yeah, I, it's a no for me. It's definitely a no for me. It's too too big like nah okay y'all so i changed my outfit all together i just threw on my skims outfit the all black one and i'm gonna just throw me on my shades period so this i mean it's cute it's it's like I'm, i didn't try but i tried to type the cute so i'm getting into it these are my versace shades and this is just the skims and I have on my foam runners so yeah this is the finish look I hope you guys enjoyed this video it was very chaotic it's giving very much black Kim Kardashian I thank you guys for watching this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe don't forget to join the family bye bye oh yeah my fragrance I'm gonna be using the Mason Francis Oud y'all if y'all never tried this one, this one is so good. It smells so good. So, I'm going to put it on. A little bit goes a long way. I just OD.